Built for Combat Part 2, how to make the ultimate extreme athletic apparel using all made t-shirts and green galaxy water base ink. Now about a month ago, Buck Primo, our lead tech for Rock, and I signed up for the Kokoro event put on by Seal Fit. Now that's basically the civilian version of Navy Seal Hell Week that we've all heard about. Essentially, three days of going through hell, and guess what you're supposed to bring? A t-shirt, a t-shirt with your name stenciled on the front and back. It says plain t-shirt with a sprayed on stencil. Come on, I don't think so. We're gonna screen print this. So whether we pass or fail, I do know that we'll have the best looking and most comfortable shirts there. Plus having a lightweight, super breathable, flexible and strong shirt can't hurt our chances. Ingredients, we're using pitch black, green galaxy water-based ink that is super soft and breathable and our new natural white all made apparel tribal and t-shirt. Had to be a white shirt. I'm not gonna be white in about 10 minutes after that event starts. What makes an all-made shirt special is it's made from 50% recycled plastic water bottles. This has six bottles in it, plus organic cotton, which is super soft, and modal, which is strong, antimicrobial, so it doesn't stink, and has extreme wet strength. Great for Hell Week. To fit this amazing shirt, our secret ingredient, Green Galaxy Pitch Black Water-Based Ink, which is not only eco-friendly, but sits in your shirt and breathes and stretches and becomes a part of it versus a slab of plastazole that's on it. Could you imagine going through Hell Week working out, getting wet, getting dry in the sun and the heat and the dirt with plastic slabbed on your front and your back? I don't think so. So this is our secret ingredient. The instructions are simple. I'm using static frames, 156 and a 230 mesh to hold the detail with the black water-based ink and I'm using the Green Galaxy Cryo Coat Water Resistant Emulsion. Coating the screens, we're exposing them with the LED exposure unit and we're letting them dry outside so the sun post hardens them. Printing is also very simple with water-based ink. Simple flood the screen, load the stencil up, do two print passes, and then you're ready to go. Second color, wet on wet, no problem. Now this ink's a little different from most water-based inks because it's built with 20% opaque and 80% transparent, meaning the transparent is the nice and soft, the breathable part, 80%, 20% to make the ink strong, sit up on top of the shirt, and make it built for combat. While we're printing, we're also gonna make the instructors a shirt, maybe to get on their good side. We're gonna be using a two-color water-based print with asteroid orange, as well as the aluminum gray, standard military issue, all-made shirt. To cure water-based ink, we're gonna cure it at 320 degrees for two minutes, using the new Alios dryer by BBC. This dryer is great because it has amazing airflow and it does a great job curing water-based inks in one pass without the need for warp drive. More, Primo, ready to check into hell. Push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, mud, freezing water, the harder it gets, the better it gets. The only easy day was yesterday and it pays to be a winner. Let's make it better.